When someone is having an autistic meltdown, it may look really similar to other types of dysregulation that people with other disorders get, especially people with trauma. However, the cause is different. Or people with autism have PTSD and we are more susceptible to PTSD. So we might see a combination of um, meltdown symptoms and PTSD. Now, the biggest difference is going to be the cause. With autism, a meltdown, or what I like to say is dream dysregulation, can be caused by sensory, overwhelm, socializing, stress. It's kind of like too many things are happening to our nervous system and we start to get extremely dysregulated. Now, with PTSD, they might get flashbacks, they might feel like they're back in that time, it's hard for them to grip back in. And while the two can look somewhat similar, is like your body is sending a lot of cortisol and adrenaline and trying to keep you safe, the causes are different. So with a PTSD trigger, you're having dysregulation because you feel unsafe. With an autism meltdown or dysregulation, it's because we're feeling unsafe in a different way. Our nervous systems are overloaded and our body is responding. Oh my God. Mm. But I always, 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 always hope that you talk to your provider, to a specialist, to do research, to figure out what yours specifically looks like because everybody's dysregulation is going to look different. And anything that's posted on the internet does not mean with 100% certainty that you